Welcome back. The third class of the Mount Hall of Fame featured four players who skated in the NHL, including the first overall pick in the 1995 draft, the quartet, sporting multiple All-State awards and state championships, and one common thread. J.P. Smollin says more. They earned NHL awards and broke league records, setting a standard for excellence that will be difficult to match. Brian Burrard, Brian Boucher, Jeff Gilson, and David Capuano reaching a milestone in the Mount Hall of Fame. All the, all, the, all the work you put in as a kid, and, and you never think that you're ever going to you know, have an accomplishment like this, but uh, of all the years that I played pro hockey, I still, uh, I'm still honored to come back here and, and, and have them give me this honor. So it's just a really neat thing. Great to see old friends, great to see old faces, um, and just really proud of this place, proud to have been a Mountie. Joining the class of 2016, especially sweet for Berard and Boucher, who skated at the same time for the Mounties. All right, six years old on, we played sports together, whether it was hockey, baseball, street hockey, football, whatever it was. Um, me and Brian are very close. Um, look at him now, he's doing great on TV, you know, announcing in the NHL on NBC. So, um, you know, we have great memories and, and Mount's a big part of it. As much as things have changed for the hockey honorees since they last took the ice at Adelard, one thing has remained constant, head coach Bill Belial. In his 41-year career, he's seen 20 of his players drafted by NHL teams, and those that have reached the highest levels say they owe a lot to their mentor. You know, it's funny, we always come back and it seems like everybody, the first thing we do is start talking about Bill. Um, a wonderful guy, a wonderful coach, and, you know, as you grow up, you kind of learn um, what he taught you. Uh, it, was, uh, it was a disciplined environment. But I think as we get older, we understand the importance of, of what he taught us. And it wasn't the X's and O's on the ice. It was, it was discipline. And every year you went up from a ninth grade, 10th grade, 11th grade, you kind of understood a little bit more about what he was trying to teach you. And The work ethic that he instilled in his players, uh, there's no doubt that the, the success that I had uh, getting to pro and, and playing in the National Hockey League, a lot of it is attributed to um, Coach Belisle's, uh, you know, dedication to to the sport, to coaching, to to being there for his for his players. I, I can't thank him enough. In Woodstock, I'm J.P. Smallins, Eyewitness Sports.